The speakers in the earlier part of the morning have all spoken about the challenges in the low income space and how things are changing. Growth is taking place in these days in ways that we cannot fathom. And it is possibly a good time to step back and think about newer ways and different ways of bringing this growth about. And that's what this upcoming panel is going to discuss. Reimagining the growth story for India's growing company. Allow me a few minutes to quickly introduce our moderator and panelists. Our moderator is Mr. Suresh Taikat, Editor, Technology and Special Project, PNBC TV 18. Suresh is Executive Producer of PNBC TV 18. Prior to this, he was program chair with Radio City in Bangalore and anchored a popular safety program, Branch to Sports. He graduated from the National Institute of Design. Our panelists are our first panelist is Mr. Prasadarusha, or DG. He is head, Corona and Senior Housing Finance Specialist with the IMC, the International Finance Corporation. DG works as a head and principal financial officer at the Kolkata office of the IMC. In this role, he is responsible for business development and client relationships in both the advisory and investment services vertical of the corporation in the low income state and North East India. He has over 25 years of experience as senior management and board position in the financial services industry, in asset based financing, mortgages, investment banking, merchant banking, and broking. Our second panelist is Mr. Vinny Tran, founder and chairman. In Telegraph and Powell and MD, Arsha. We need to support Powell and Chen of the Intelligraph Group of Companies that is leveraging knowledge to channel social capital to preserve social or rural of through partnering initiatives in social investment banking, social environment, technology, and unique financing and incubation in the He has founded Arsha. The fund of the company providing salary support to Arusha 1 and 2 through the investment fund, as well as Arusha Hotel 1 and 2 microfinance development fund. The leader has received numerous awards and also received the Shulka Fellowship and is an honorary member of XRI Alumni Association. Welcome. We don't focus too much on social enterprise, we focus instead on GDP numbers, on stock market numbers, the recession change will be with the public experience. So the point is that as a result of the presence of the COVID staff, I think they need a lot of us for many years to come. So, I 
think the age I identify is really good. Only one is for that is very interesting. But more importantly, if you actually go and look at what we have been doing, what was very clear for us to actually be able to 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 be able the acts of farming that they are under, and then up the income scale, provide excellent livelihoods to themselves and their families, provide excellent education to children, medical facilities, all of that. So, for me, the, the definition of growth is not numbers, okay? It's more, it's nice for numbers, but it's not really a lot of information. It's very, very important to have all of this. Then, the other side of the definition of the other part. What does it include? I think it includes the means that um, the more vulnerable sections of the population than themselves should get included. I mean, think of the state India largest divide. India has a certain GDP and the rest of the LI states, which don't have an audience are dragging the uh, economic indicators. It also means to me, among the population, the most vulnerable, like the disabled, the dying, the youth in the natural interior area, all getting the same access to opportunities as the others. What do you think about the problem? Okay. That is the same access and the local standardization of the global region. Read the definition, what does something have to do? So I think the sustainable growth is one that actually takes a very long environment. And uh, there are some of the kind of growth. Consequence of some of those growth that we have seen in 2008, those who have been in the development sector have actually seen it in microfinance. So in case you're not able to sustain what you have said, but both in terms of the pace that you have discussed and the kind of returns you're expecting year and year, more and year, uh, which cannot be sustained, you have actually said for three years. And I think one of the key contexts of the distinction between the capitalist sector of growth and the whole inclusive and the capitalist world that we have been using the word term inclusive just now. It's not it's not a right excited about capitalism. The real the real challenge is how we could actually bring the disparity in I was actually very surprised in my last month around developed countries. The disparity in income between those who are not so and those who are very rich is very, very low than that you can get here from going to transition. And I think a sustainable growth is one that you bring down the gas for the industry. And those who are actually very rich and those who are actually very poor. And to me, it's about maintaining that building that gas. Yeah, and we continue to actually build societies which are actually always at dollar heads with each other. So sustainability, financial sustainability is part of it, you know. One of the other kinds of systems you can get to be the automatic thing that comes to mind is climate. That's not the only kind of system. Yeah, so again, all the word sustainability has multiple contexts to it. And just for some of the things you have tried to very easily in your life, I actually ran into a debate on sustainability in France from time back. And this was a discussion I had with Alcoda. And basically, within the debate, I have seen that anybody who is dependent on grant is sustainable, and then one person stood up and said, Have you ever seen a temple go bankrupt or a church go bankrupt? And each one of us can define those contexts in the way we see it. It is not about financial sustainability, it is not about the impact of sustainability at all, and it is not about the environment. But if you really want to bring about change that is selected for the answer that you to last population, then you have to look at every other thing. You have to look at the social disbalance that you are creating, the environmental one to that same. Every day discussed by those who are actually getting impacted by it. And I actually just know from Mumbai to Patna. And in the entire drive, I could actually see the environmental degradation that is being caused. If you drive to Patna as well, in fact, we are actually looking at a recycling company which is actually trying to recycle the waste in the car. While on the way driving into Patna, I actually realized there is a significant opportunity. And I don't see any insects. I only saw an opportunity for 
And um, this is where tendency is going to work for tendency to actually say, okay, this is there's so much energy and yet why are being like we also know that uh, you who work very hard on the migration actually contribute tremendously to the economy in states like Delhi uh, and Maharashtra. And <coughs> these are the migrants who are actually making those cities live. So uh, I think there's a tremendous opportunity to, to build all this energy stable in the LIS uh, In this question, we all know that no matter five or eight, it doesn't matter. Uh, I think uh, in these days, 80% of them are so removed from the market, so removed from these numbers that to them it really doesn't matter. But they are so busy struggling with the routine of the and Makar, that it's fine, okay. And it's absolutely right. So the GDP growth number is the option for the internet control of money. The second is the quality of the team of people that has. The first one has my own test. The second is the quality of the people that has working with them and preventing them. Because there is a point that there are severe shortages of quality and quality which are uh, able to put up good success in the process. The third is an investor that has brought up the house. We do that again. And unfortunately, we don't get to a place next to this one. The important is to the plan that comes to us for the future protection. But most of the third part is therefore very important to And therefore, we should start thinking about the things that we want to invest in these areas. So that is the important So, this is the need to say that. And the last is, I think, the biggest something for the is governance. We find that corporate governance is an issue which is just not of importance. So that, that sort of prevents us from creating that sustainable environment of that sustainable investment to make the policy And those are the four components that we absolutely have to have to go we need to use the top of the one thing we need to talk about is so many We just need to go back I thought the minister speaking that was spectacular speech that we did in the past and spectacular speech from the region talk to the way time to speak to the people What we are wishing is the fact that one of the reasons that the low income state is low income is the politics of that state Now if I have to say one thing is the wish that is politics that is built over 60 or years in the future is not to vanish any amount of cash, any amount of intellectual input, any amount of wishful thinking, it simply is not going to matter. Because it's always a question of the city. Another example of global economic prosperity, they are wishful thinking, political turmoil. As a result, why would you even check the case of the system of political turmoil? I would actually say that we have to look at India, look at international investors, but they will look at India, not on that. And at that point of time, not very long ago, we had all the chaos as a citizen. 
and we are still dealing with a fairly negative event. So, we are still dealing with a fairly negative event. Keeping in mind all the different issues, the scandals that we are getting, and the impact of the world. Not understanding that the art is completely food in us. So, what is that that brings in the mind to look at the system of it here? So, we look at it, that keeping in mind that we are still seven interests of the world, it is still a task, and that is that we are reasonably intellectually to it, and we are potentially able to bring in new ideas and thought process. The local economy that has to be this difference, India is actually still, despite all the challenges that has made it for itself, still political or otherwise, remains somebody who has a capability to track that. I think we're going to say, after the time of experience of India, we had even started on an active history. Remember, the first time I traveled out of India, and I tried in 2002, the next time I traveled was 2005. In 2002 and 2005, I have never thought there are any of the international newspapers mentioned anywhere, except in a bad way, Sars or Dawid, or actually for me, or something else. This is 2005, just 20 years back. Last 20 years, I have seen in a move from the last end of some small one of the square to repeatedly appear on the first, second, or fourth page, where business accidentally died. Sometimes it is sometimes one of them, but essentially moving from very negative, very human human issues to very calm business with business, which actually I believe is also a reflection of how good of the investors are seen around the world. I think today, and I actually get in a state, which I think was number two in what that was like, and I'm going to get it. And there is a problem with it, but you're going to get a problem with it. This is the state because there's a problem with it. It's all right now, it has actually found its way out, found its way out. Even though people don't expect to say that here on the end growth is actually simply going to start from a certain case, the growth is not really a possibility of what she did for the nation. But the fact of the matter is that the state itself has demonstrated why they're wrong. Put this, some of this all together with the numbers that Richard spoke out in the morning, that's why I'm fond of the comment and the kind of people that we're talking about. The opportunity is far more outfaced the risk that we are seeing these days. I only see as a very paid investor, opportunity to buy and the others don't want to play. So if I actually am going to stay going to get nowadays, the chance that the taxes that I pay in Mumbai, I will start in India, I have to find the support of the state. So I think at the point of time, from an investor perspective, despite the challenges and stresses that are mentioned, I think the case in low income media is a very great thing. India has all kinds of people from people coming back from the US. They are actually witnessing a similar kind of brain drain with a lot of people and they are trying to figure out the kind of Bihar and the Vista and the I think it is a nice spot for people to get an opportunity. For those who have gone out, also to get an opportunity. And for investors like me, in my team, and others, I think we have already seen this and the NIT has already looked at this opportunity for other reasons, which I actually did not have this kind of mention about my mom and why or not. It is actually that the opportunities are moving away from the very crowded, uncrowded, unsecured places like Mumbai, Delhi, and Lancaster, who you have no idea. This is like the little bit of a point of time. But offer opportunities within five minutes to make us really excited for people like us. So we don't have answers on it. I think good answers we never had for the one who started with this. Let me also tell you who I think I was missing. I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to find it. That is not what I've asked for today. I don't think so. But in seven years' time, the individual gap, the capability to speak has, may have better answered the problem some of us have. Wait, it's an interesting idea. You're saying that one of the reasons that people think that is in India, let's call them the democracy. The fact is that democracy is a fight. I don't want to see what it is in the country. Which means that even the things don't be bought at, it's a good thing to invest in something that's just a fundamental risk. How the point would be our neighboring country farm farms? It's not just full of low income states, it's a low income country. One of the key reasons why it's a low income country is the absence of strong democratic institutions. Exactly. That's the same thing that I was talking about. Thank you. 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 Let me go for the comment. Yeah, yeah. Just to interrupt you. I have some statistics here with me. That, and these statistics relate to our investments in the developed states. Quite substantial, and I'm not expected to grow significantly over the next few years. 
And what we will see when we call with development of the academic indicators that the India success rate for our projects was 70% and the LI success rate was 80%. The financial performance of the India success rate was 64%, the LI success rate was 75%. The economic performance wise across the India region is higher than 7 versus the LI LI is 69. And the environment and social performance levels in the region show 62% versus 50% in the LI. But on an overall private sector development basis, we found that the India success rate was about 78% in comparison to the LI rate being 1%. But this only was to supplement what we just said that. We all see that the the one us, but the right kind of opportunity is being found out. And I think we are today standing in the alliance at the cusp, where uh, sort of in the last stage we are overseeing the intellectual work that we have reached. Uh, I think we could do a few minutes on this subject. Yes, closing the last from the panelists. So, do you think talking about the democratic issue? I know all the other statistics because it's going to be done. 25 young people, this is going to be the fourth that's going to change the world of the climate here. On the other hand, every CEO of these, I think, of the university, I know it's in Bombay and Delhi and Bangalore, there's a lot of people who are going to be there. So, I think it's a very public area. Killing is a mantra, the mantra we have given it is a mantra. Um, a lot of people have ventured this area because of this mantra. Um, and what happened, I think, is too early because there are too many new entrants who come. For the I think there will be some kind of fallout. Uh, the quality ones will remain, there will be a stick out of the team, like in other teams. And um, I think what will happen is that. Definitely, the next result will be that India will be better today. It's a bit of a problem. We don't know the answer. There are elements in there, some national characteristics to bring the young people together with employment opportunities to come together. Absolutely. Right, everyone, these are the factors. One closing question before I open the house. So, the question from the house. We don't know the question. What is the one critical factor? The one thing that was 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 the one thing that the one thing that was 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 the one thing uh, I think that evidence of that confidence among the common man is actually going to make the deal. See, that would define whether there is hope for this latter. So, just so simple steps to leave that we can do. So, what is what change in the form of the political structure? So, what is the main thing of it? Well, I think it is it is the issue of political awareness. Uh, and the community of the perspectives we have to support those board steps, enact those board acts, enable businesses to start and launch. Final question, Riva. What is the new betting that can replace GDP, that can replace the inclusion of growth with the measurement of freedom of growth? What do you think about the new metrics that you have? Sometimes early risk and maybe we should take the heart and take the puja, you know, and make sure that if every person, however remote in area, can be having nothing is basically in some way. Maybe that's the best thing. Growth happiness index is one way thing. Right. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Jamie, for your comments. Let's hand over to the House of Questions. There's a couple of exceptions in the House of Questions. You can ask a question briefly, try and not take a long way to speak to you. Hope you ask a question. And tell me who you want to direct the question to and direct the question with any of our questions. A question or a combination of anything that you said this time. I have it. Yeah. You can get the mic. I have it. This is listing on our nation's economy as a tax on labor, not as an economic development. 
And I must translate uh, so this is the kind of a typical question you are asking as began the debate among the panel members. And I got a question, but the concern is if you ask seven or six voters, and I would have three, seven going to the extent of asking the policy level, how do you call inclusive? How do you call sustainability? My experience would be a very few people will come out with very pragmatic answers. Therefore, the concern there is, in order to find analysis to all these basic fundamentals, is the more of this, a kind of passion and commitment. If somebody goes on the ground, <laughs> emotionally it's replicated and it comes out with a very bad hair. Something like difference between acting and function and being able And this is how the social answer comes on the front line. Now, the question is here, you know, if you look at the whole landscape of Bihar, and right from the social interest perspective, one component, there could be several kind of concerned areas, one component, and I'll point out here, especially more than even 77 percent of the people do not have access to testing. <laughs> Every day, 383 persons are dying just because of not having a social step linking access here. And let me also around there my age very standard experience. People do not expect some kind of subsidy. What we require is the kind of commitment, the kind of passion in order to demonstrate with some kind of community driven kind of structure, system and process to which we can have access to therapy. And therefore, can we have some kind of field service to explore to bridge up this gap? And why do I say there are several, several companies that are coming and finally, you know, bottling their water has given out very little But the kind of economic the cost they charge is huge. And therefore, it is not so actually going into the daily living economy, which is inside of the river of our friends of the company. The problem is we need to have a very deepening kind of our attention on creating self drinking access. I want to speak a lot more to any kind of entrepreneurship. It's a social or private. Because what is the fundamental requirement that it cannot be a risk of those who can Or it cannot be as a wills and fancy of entrepreneurialism, definitely entrepreneurialism. What about it? Would you invest in the day? Well, I've actually already invested in the day. And yes, I actually think that there are certain issues. But I have chances and what are the chances? trying to deal with water issues on the ground in remote areas. Uh, first and foremost, actually, it's actually a language of the The government is really, the government is really served to buy out the services from the people. Sometimes what happens in government is they are actually normally more inclined to a cabinet position. They will buy the water and put it up there as a list. But then you will see six months, nine months, twelve months later, it doesn't have something to operate. And I think the model that is actually right now being more for instruction is where the capital investment is made by the government, the provider of the community is the provider of the facility. And then the servicing of that servicing of that water plant is actually done by people finding at a very low price, again decided by the government. I think it's twenty five or twenty meters or something. I actually don't remember the number. But that is not correct we have the producing service. service the plant and keep it running down the years. I think this is actually one model that's happening. Mean, as I said, the government is making the one. There is another one where the many water system operating in other places where the architect has the responsibility of setting up the plant at the same time as the other water and it's still servicing the people to create it. Then there is a thing that we are looking at, as well as we say, the Sarmana is looking at. Where the person has basically said, I would just try to provide water that will cut down the cost of health. By just using the cooling, cooling and the kind of nature of the kind of water that would have to be flowing. There are multiple solutions, some solutions are much more attractive than others. But then the fact that an article bring new ideas, possibly sometimes government can adopt the system. Also, we might need new kinds of regulations, new kind of localized regulations to prevent any sort of profiteering from people. So, thank you for the talk here.
There's always one thing I'd like to add. What you said. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, really, uh, do you see this thing, the success hopefully in social enterprises will have for the next kind of four five ten years? Do you see a political risk significant the way the micro finance industry has faced? Uh, and again, uh, no, the way uh, the reason I say it is because uh, you know, some of these social enterprises uh, work at the intersection or in spaces where as a citizen I thought it was the duty of the government to provide it. So the government has taken its role and therefore had to to what I to I think something like water could be marked, uh, something we face about uh, water issues like health, and who knows the social enterprise will be more or not too. So, what do you think about that? Will that be some part of insecurity for the building? I think a lot of the different of the social enterprise as of now, the only definition of social enterprise is by security and exchange board, when they define social and capital part. Uh, 
people that in, in, the, in this context, uh, the demand for any service, any goods, is, is so large that it is not really a single player or a single government which can make the The opportunity where it is, is it's just in the last any money, any single institution, whether it's the government or the enterprise is So even when we try to do a survival of the solar centers for the office, trying for the office to gradually get in regular there are good pockets, even within the office, where you can expand further and deeper the reach, rather than take a take a bunch of set of government and try to drive it up and stop the education. So I think the demand potential of the country is not a big thing. Uh, and they lie as other norms to the solar so that it provides enough of the facilities for everybody. Come to the technical of place, how do you get an incentivized government, private, and consumer themselves? Don't be a good example. Government is about providing us a contract of business for one year. People need to go to the media. All the incentives are completely disconnected. Well, I, I, I think. At, at, a, at a macro level, uh, the contractor who is building the road needs to realize that if he builds a better road, it would lead to further roads being built, further penetration in the rural areas of the country. Look at what's happened in the West. <laughs> where the roads and the railroads were that engine the road. If from the from the contractor's perspective this realization that comes from the government insurance but the quality of the product that it gets the price it pays is good enough, then I think that's an incentive enough for both parties from birth. And that also satisfies the consumer needs of the year there. Okay. One of the most used to pay the contract all over here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Both the political system, the commission of the government to build it. Both the power of the to build the road is one of the 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 cost of the regular road that you pay. So you can do political analysis and it's not always seeing the L1 issue of the first year. But it might be the L1 plus the first year of the first year that you could go. That means you realize how much the power of the any other questions? Yes, sir. Uh, I'm going to ask you about the new legal system. At the same time, like the, the, the social enterprises still uh, have a buzzword for many of us. Uh, and particularly, the village uh, has mentioned like it doesn't apply to actually to the poor and the and people define that they, they think that they find in the social enterprise. And uh, I heard from Professor Vata in the Matthew, you are doing, you are doing a lot to the, but it, it, it's all about letting the institution to buy uh, on that uh, aspect. Uh, my question is like, uh, as, as we keep having the kind of uh, industrial institutions and uh, what about the social development kind of uh, environment, ecosystem, how to pay it to the investor and I think uh, uh, by now we have the taken a uh, much more efficient way in terms of uh, working on this. Not really, I think the academic institution is the Desumantar and the technological effects and what is going to be the future in terms of working into this social technology. I am trying to set up my own social enterprises and that's why I am to be part of such kind of work in your country. This is there are two new systems in my mind and I am trying to set up all the I do not understand what is that body actually going to do. Uh, 
I'm not sure if that body is actually creating incentives for the government to come down and acquire the 10% or less than 10% of the return logic. I'm not sure. And I'm not even sure if the answer is that if you are being fixed with the form of the body, so the government will say if you are an association of the principal association, then we assume you don't want to pay money. We assume because that's what we think is the principal association.